Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at uh, seeing where you are based on your IP address. Now, don't think you're going to be able to spot on track somebody uh, with their IP address. It doesn't work like that. When you have somebody's IP address, that IP address is linked to the internet service provider that they are and where that substation is. So if you have someone's IP address, you can easily find out, you know, what town they're in, their zip code, and the general idea of where they are. You're not going to pinpoint where their house is or their device is in most cases, uh, normal cases with their IP address. But uh, let's say you want to see where you are. You're going to be able to use this to find out what your IP address is what your relative location is. So it's, it's very useful for that. And of course, this will be your external IP address, not your, your local network IP address. So this is a way to get that as well. So we're going to use curl, although you can use wget as well. So I'm going to say curl-s means silent, just doesn't give me the output, you know, downloading information. And then we're going to connect to https colon forward slash forward slash ip info .io. That's easy to remember. And that's going to give us some basic JSON output. So I'm going to do that. And I can see my IP address, my host name that I'm in the city orange tree uh, and that my region is Florida. I'm in the US, my approximate GPS location. Um, that the organization, my ISP, is Comcast Communications, uh, the zip code, and then there's a, a readme file for the website. So that's real easy. And of course, you can take this information and you can pipe it into something like grep. If you want to get uh, the IP, you can get the IP that way. Uh, we can also, you know, head that. You can go through and do stuff like this, and then I can say cut. Uh, with a delimiter of this, field uh, four probably. Yep, so that's how you get an IP address. But there's a better way. Because again, like like grepping for IP, the IP showed up somewhere else. So uh, I can also, you know, grep for host and get the host name. Or, uh, yep, yeah, and uh, our postal co code. And get the, po the zip code there. Uh, but that's using a lot of different commands, cut, you know, normal commands that you have on your system. But if you have, let me clear the screen here, uh, JQ installed, that's a JSON querying application. It's very useful. I can say here, I can say JQ and then inside single quotate quotations dot city, it will get me the city. I can say postal and it will give me the zip code. I can say, um, well, I can actually put those two together, city, uh, comma, dot, postal, and it'll give me the city and the postal code, uh, which is very useful. Anyway, that is getting some IP information uh, about your current location. You'll get your IP address, which is useful. It's one of many ways to get your external IP address, which is very useful. And then it also allows you to basically see your general location uh, and city and all that stuff. Uh, it might be useful if you're logging into a server, um, finding out where your server is, but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I know where I am. <laughs> uh, well, again, it's useful to get your external IP address with a script. There's many different websites you can pull that from in different ways. Uh, but let's say you have someone's IP address and you want to know their approximate location, uh, what city they're from, you know, their zip code. You know, that is if they're not using proxy servers, you know. Uh, but if you have their actual IP address, this could be someone uh, attacking your website or server of some sort. And again, if they're not using proxies, if you have their IP address, you can at least get the general location. Well, it's simple enough. Uh, basically the same command, curl dash s, or you can also again use uh, wget, uh, the same website. But then at the end here, you just put in their IP address and you go ahead and hit enter and it will give you their uh, approximate location information. So you get, again, the IP address which you gave, but I can see that they're in Naples Park. Florida, again, this is just an IP address that I kind of made up. Uh, 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 country code is US, the approximate GPS location. Again, that'll give you like basically where their uh, internet provider, in this case Comcast, their substation is, which is usually within a couple of miles of their location, their postal code. And again, you can uh, you know use grep and cut to get information. Or if you have JQ installed, I can again say dot city, uh, and I can say dot lock, and I should get their city and again, their approximate GPS location. So uh, again, very simple. Uh, and again, that's ip.info.io.
you know, uh, this is a, a company, you can go to their website and type in their information. They also, you know, have package plans if you want a lot of information, I guess. Obviously, if you were to do this in bulk, you'll probably get blocked, but probably don't need to do that. If you have an IP address, most IP addresses that are in that particular range are going to be near one, so you don't need to check uh, every single IP if you know approximately the IP address, just like we know the approximate location. Anyway, I thought you might find this useful. If you did, uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, check out the description for links to my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's also a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash mailx1000. And if you can't support me there, again, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.